Hey, what's up everybody? This is Rep Vile. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to make a big shark rig. Now, if you're going to be fishing from a boat, uh, you're going to have to modify this rig a little bit. You don't want the leader quite as long as what I'm going to make it. And if you're, uh, if you're going to be surf casting, you're going to have to modify this a lot. Basically, you're going to use this when you're fishing off the beach and you're kayaking the baits out. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the hooks of your choice. 400 pound mono, this is for uh, the shock leader. Uh, it's going to be the sleeves for your mono, the sleeves for your cable. Uh, you're going to use 480 pound cable, this comes in 30 foot strands, 600 pound test swivels. You might want to grab a sand block, I use this for basically when you cut. Uh, the mono sometimes it gets these burrs on it and you can rub the burrs down with that so that's nice to have and you're gonna need a pair of crimpers what are you doing up here buddy uh, the reason I use this cable here is because this comes with 30 foot strands now I use 10 foot uh, 10 foot cable that gives us enough for three liters and I use 15, maybe 20 yards at the most of the 400 pound mono. Okay, so you're going to grab your cable and you're going to put two of these sleeves and just run it down. Okay. All right. Just let them drop down there for a minute. You grab one of your swivels, feed that through. Now, comes the weird part. Basically, you're going to make a loop so it looks like a little bow tie or something. You're going to wrap this three times, two, three, now on the third one you want to feed that loop through, okay, so bring it around, so how do we make this smaller, basically we're going to try to pull down on it, right? So you're going to pull this circle down as far as you can. You'll know when it's enough, you know, you'll know when you've pulled enough because it just won't pull anymore. All right. So we probably got a little bit too long there. That's all right. So now we're going to feed the sleeves back up. And run that first sleeve down and you're gonna get it pretty close there it's within an inch probably a half inch or so No, I like to crimp mine twice just to be safe. All right. Now before I crimp the second one, I like to give the cable some twists. Now that's a pretty long cable, so we can put quite a few twists in this one. All right.
crimp that one twice. And basically we're going to do the same thing on the other end, except you're going to feed the hook of your choice. Okay. So you're going to grab the other end. Uh, take a look at this. Now you might have to recut the end of your cable if it gets a little too frayed. Sometimes this doesn't want to feed through if it's got some frays on it. drop down gonna feed our hook through so I don't know we'll say right there how about that every one I do turns out different so whatever so you make that little the little tie wrap it three times one two Three and a third one. We can put that through. All right, that was gonna be pretty long, so we pull it down as far as it goes. Okay. We just repeat the process. Feed that back through. It'll go through. I got a little. Feed that one through. Pull it down about a I don't know, half inch or so. Crimp that one. Keep that on a couple twists. Try not to poke yourself at the wire. Cramp that one down. And crimp that one down. Alright, for the mono. Sometimes this mono gets a little difficult to feed. So, <clears throat> when I'm using uh, the 400 pound mono, these 2.3. 2.3 ends. This is, seems to be the easiest stuff I found to get on. So we're gonna run that, and I don't know. I might have to sand that one down a little bit. All right. So it does have a little bit of burr on it that's getting hung up a little bit. So take our sanding block and try to sand those burrs out. Get it a little bit smooth. I'll make it easier to feed. Set 
those down. Feed the swivel. Get those get those out of the way. And we're gonna repeat what we did with the cable. So we're gonna make Make it a little, little tie, rabbit ears, whatever. Wrap it one, two, three. Feed the swivel through. Okay. And pull it down. Okay, give it a couple twists. I don't know if twisting it really does anything. In my mind, it might add a little bit of like holding power in case anything moves, but it definitely looks a lot better. All right. Don't mind my snoring dog. He's lazy, he's sleeping. I know you could probably hear him. All right. So the other side, instead of putting a swivel on, we're gonna use the swivel at the end of the cable. Grab two more sleeves. Sleeves through. All right. So we will grab our cable, feed it through, and get it where you want enough slack there. Okay. Down to the rabbit ears. Loop it in, one, two, three. Come on. Feed it through the swivel. Pull it down. Okay, so now we feed our first swivel. Print 
that one. All right, so we grab the last sleeve, wrap your mono a couple times. And crimp it. And voila, there's your heavy shark rig. Now that's going to hold up to pretty much anything you're going to catch off the beach. I know some people are going to ask why I use cable instead of wire. With cable you need all the extra shit, right? With, with wire you don't really need some of the stuff. You don't need crimpers, you don't need sleeves. Here's why I like to use the cable. It's, to me, number one, it's just easier for me to do this this way. Uh, two, and the main reason, I like to keep all my rigs in this, uh, in this pouch here. Okay? So, I mean, look, look how easy this stuff loops up. It's real easy to put back into the pouches, you know. If I use different size hooks, I can still have them all separated out. And the thing about the wire, if you ever use wire, you know, this shit, as soon as I pull this out, it's like a spring. It just springs out, and it's a pain in the ass to get back in here. So when I have a built rig, man, like, I'm not going to get wire on a rig back into these pouches. It's just, to me, it's messy. I don't like the wire. It holds good. I don't know if there's really a benefit over one over the other. I just... It's just preference to me. I like using the cable instead. Alright, so that's really it, guys. That's your basic shark rig. I know I got kind of a mess here on the table now. But, end result, that's what you're looking at. Alright, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope this helps some of you out. And, guys, I'd appreciate it if, if you'd uh, hit that like button. That really helps the visibility of my channel. Uh... I'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this or if you'd like to see some of my moto vlogs. And, uh, you know, if you want to leave me a message, you can hit me up on Facebook or you can leave a message in the comment section. Alright guys, stay safe. Peace out.